Yeah, I'll be sleeping on lunch. I'm trying to tell you. Something quick. Something inexpensive. Hmm. Welcome back to my channel. My name is C and today I'm just doing a quick lunch break mukbang. And today for lunch, I'm eating a Lunchable. <laughs> this is the ham and cheddar um, cracker stackers. It has the Oscar Myers lean ham, craft cheddar crackers and two vanilla cream cookies. And I have my water, but I'm going to mix it with my Crystal Light. I'm a big Crystal Light fan. I love Crystal Light. And most of the time, that'll be the only thing I'm really drinking. So, I'm going to mix this bad boy up. Um, so, I made... Sorry. So, I'm making this video just as a... Let's get to know each other real quick. Well, at least tell you about me. So... My name is Crystal, but I go by C. Um, I am 30 years old. Um, I'm from Maryland or the DMV area. Um, let's see. More about me. I'm single. Um, no kids yet. Um... I work at a hospital here in the DMV area. Um, I have one sister, she's older than me. Um, oh, sorry, I'm just gonna open this real quick. So more about me. So I've lived in Maryland majority of my life. Although I was born in DC, Majority of my life, I've been raised in Maryland. Um, I have two lovely parents, and they are still together, still married. So, so I know I look forward to that, or I look up to them when it comes to me picking out a spouse. But we'll talk about that in another video. But anyway, um, yeah, I work at a hospital. Um... So, I'm around patients, I'm around doctors, things of that nature. Um, let's see. I'm very outgoing, but I'm a little reserved. I'm a little shy, you know, when I'm first meeting somebody. Until I get comfortable, until I, you know, I know you, then, you know, we're good. So... I've been working at my job for, it's about 10 years now. I've been working for my job for 10 years. I can't even believe it. But it's a good thing to say if you've worked at a place for a very long time. Because it shows your work ethic. It shows your commitment. And I love that. I'm very committed to something once I put my mind to it. So that's that's a plus in my book. Mm. Um, I got into the medical field from my my grandmother and my great grandmother. They both were nurses in their time. My grandmother recently um, retired last year. She was working at um, Children's Hospital for a while in D.C. So she recently retired, and I know she's living the life. <laughs> um, but I've always been about helping people. I've always been a good communicator, a good listener. I'm very patient. So that kind of put me in that perspective. Um, but my main goal it's not necessarily to be like a doctor. I just like phlebotomy. 
I like dealing with blood. I mean, no, blood and stuff, that doesn't really bother me. It doesn't really bother me. So, I've always been fascinated about that. So, I went to school. Um, I got my certification. Um, so, I'm licensed. So, my thing right now is just applying for jobs. Like, I love what I do now. But, of course, it's not my dream job. Or that's not the route I'm headed that I want to continue. Or like I want to branch out. I want to elevate myself because I know, you know, no, I didn't go to college. Um, that has always been a regret of mine um, because I knew what I was capable of. So, not saying that I cannot go to college now. I just missed out back then. College is still on the radar. College is still a goal. But right now, I'm content. And like I said, I am looking forward to eat, elevating myself and trying to get into, I, get into the lab. <laughs> I really want to work for Kaiser. Mm. Um, I believe Kaiser give you great opportunities. And it's a wonderful organization to work for, so I'm definitely interested in that. Mm. Let's see. So, let's see. Is there anything else? I'm sorry, this stuff is so good. But another thing that I'm looking forward to is start a nonprofit organization dealing with, you know, kids, kind of like a big brother, big sister type thing. Like, um, you know, growing up, I was always bullied, not always bullied, but I've been bullied a time or two um, about my weight and things like that. So I will probably talk about this in another video um, because I do want to touch base on the lifestyle portion of my channel, which I will probably well, I will be talking about um, my weight loss surgery and life before and after it. So, again, that would be in another video. But I definitely want to encourage, you know, young children that no matter what color, size, like I learned the hard way. Um, I honestly didn't have a lot of confidence in myself. Um... I don't want to cry, but, you know, I I definitely didn't have confidence. Um, I never thought I was good enough. Um, I thought I had to look a certain way to feel accepted. Um, it was hard growing up. And although I didn't show it or I didn't say anything about it to myself when I'm alone in my room, it definitely would hit. You know, always feeling like you're the fat friend or, you know, can't run as fast as these kids or you can't do this, you can't do that. So, you know, you get discouraged. And I want to teach kids that you don't always have to be first place. As long as you try, as long as you push, as long as you give it all you got, that's the best thing. That's the best thing that you can do for yourself. Never give up on yourself. And I, I gave up on myself quite a few times. 
and eating was definitely the um my weakness snacks chips you know the whole nine was my thing and um at one point after i was older and older you know i got to a point where although i haven't faced any real health issues no diabetes no high, high blood pressure um i still didn't want to be prone to that you know because it does run in my family it might not have hit me yet but if i continue to do what i was doing i i definitely that would be me and now i'm trying to get back on the right track again i will talk about all of that in another video this video is just pretty much kind of giving you insight of me um Mm, so we're gonna switch gears so what made me um decide to start a youtube channel um i definitely i will say i researched before i just jumped out there i definitely researched what i needed and what i needed to do to have a successful channel but what made me get into it is to kind of like another way to branch out and show myself and to boost myself. Um, I'm going to show off my makeup. I'm not a makeup artist. I will say that. But I enjoy makeup. Makeup gave me, not that I need it. But makeup gave me that extra confidence that I need to feel, you know, a little more good about myself. Not saying that I had to change anything, but this was another outlet to express myself. And I, I enjoy it. I love it. I love, you know, the benefit. You know, people reach out to you and say, oh, you did a great job. Oh, can you do my makeup or what products you use? You know, I I I'm, I love to be in that type of realm where I can influence others or just share my experience with others and my ideas with others. So I started my channel to kind of express that and to kind of get feedback from other people. Like this is a community, so you know why not help each other so again like my, basically my channel is based on beauty hair and lifestyle so of course lifestyle portion is part of my health side my surgery you know getting into that beauty of course makeup and then you got the hair um i love wigs <laughs> i love being able to switch up my look without really doing too much damage on my real hair give or take i will wear my real hair but just to throw on a wig and it just does something to me so i love it i love it i love it i love it i love it, I love it. um what else can i say i don't know I think I pretty much gave you the gist of of everything. You know, the basics. Well, I guess we just want to finish this Lunchable. That I like. Of course, the ham and cheese or turkey and cheese. And I love the nachos. Give or take, I might eat the pizza, but for the most part, those two are my favorite. I just recently started eating a pizza, only because it had a good, um, a high rate of protein. 
I think it was like 15 grams. So that's pretty good. This one has 11 grams of protein. So it's not that bad. I know as a bariatric patient, you should not eat and drink at the same time, but I just need a sip. The clock is a little dry. So, these are the little vanilla cookies. So, I look like that. So, I know I don't like chocolate, but I remember last time I bought the wrong ones. So, <laughs> of course, I ended up getting the ones with the chocolate crackers, but I prefer the vanilla. Mm -hmm. So, in this whole thing, this thing is 350 calories. Seven grams of protein, 14 grams of sugar, 39 grams of, this is total carbo, um, 660 milligrams of sodium, sheesh, ooh, uh, 30 milligrams of cholesterol, <clears throat> total fat is 17 grams, mm. <laughs> well, I'm going to work it off later anyway. That was delicious. Well, guys, this ends my lunch break. So I'm definitely going to go finish doing whatever, whatever I was doing. <laughs> so, again, thank you guys for tuning in my channel. Lunch is over. That was a quick ass lunch. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, getting to know a little bit about me. If you need to know anything else, if you want to comment, if you want to know anything else about me, please comment that below. Um, I look forward to <clears throat> making more videos for you guys. Again, stay tuned. I have a lot in the works. Again, I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that little bell so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. <sighs> that was really good. Yeah, I'll be sleeping on lunch. I'm trying to tell you. Something quick. Something inexpensive. Hmm. Anyway, bye guys.